guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome my name is YMC and today is going to be an interesting video I'm going for my food shopping this is my weekly food shopping so I break down my food shopping week by week instead of month by month because it's easier for me to manage when it's like week by week today's video is brought to you by go money and there's a giveaway attached. Go Money is an online banking service. They have a lot of features that are awesome. I have favorites, which is the virtual card. I can track my online spending. And they have other cool features like sharing and splitting bill with people, which can be very, very important. I'm just going to buy food stuff for the week. And when I come back, I'll show you everything I bought. I have a budget, I have a menu, and I'm going to share with you my menu, and I'm going to share with you my budget, and we're going to see if EMSC can stick to the budget. Very important. Because I've been spending so much money on food, and you guys, the money you spend on food, you can use it to build house. <laughs> eh? You can use it to do something bigger than just eating, eating, eating. Don't eat away your future. Today is a fantastic day because it is sunny. I've just come back from shopping. Let me show you everything that I bought. This is everything I bought today. Obviously, I went over my budget. I mainly shopped at the supermarket and didn't want to go to the market because it rained yesterday and it was flooded. So the market around me is flooded. So this is just convenient shopping and it is more expensive. But um, let's see what we have here because I feel like I have some interesting things, a lot of vegetables, fruits, um, and just basically what we're going to eat this week. I bought some plain flour. It's actually cheaper if you go to the local seller and then you buy in bulk, like one basket of flour, two baskets of flour. But like I said, everywhere is flooded and I was not in the mood to enter dirty water and pot up, pot up to buy food stuff today. So I was willing to spend just a little bit extra um, to get what I want for convenience sake and I have some pasta here this is pretty pasta this is the pasta we use this simply brand I really like it and then for spaghetti we have this one as well it's the same brand it's about 315 naira. so I got about three packs of the penne pasta and two packs of spaghetti so probably just it's one pack of spaghetti one pack of pasta because that's what's on my menu plan i bought mozzarella cheese because i make pizza at least maybe two times a week so i just figured this will come in handy the one i have is almost finished just decided to buy it over here i have coated peanuts these ones are looking like really really extra large i don't know why they are so big while shopping i was a bit hungry and i just wanted to chew something so i bought this one and then i saw this peanuts this is the peanut that i really like <laughs> i like buying from this brand because their peanuts have the same color all over <laughs> Is there a reason to buy peanuts? Um, but I just like this brand of peanuts. So I've had some. I use it to eat some banana on the way back home. Mm, this is my husband's stash. He likes tiger nut milk. And so he bought it for himself. We have this uh, cereal. This is also for my husband. He really likes this particular cereal. So got it for himself. We have a pack of eggs here. And this one was about 900 and is it 970 naira eggs. We also have some croissants, some croissants, some croissants. <laughs> Anyhow, you pronounce them. We have some of them, and um, this is for my husband too. He really likes it. I got some spices. I got paprika. I also got this. This is my latest obsession lately. It's just cayenne pepper, but I like it because it's like chili flakes and I just put it in anything I'm cooking. Like I use it for anything lately. During the week I was looking for parsley and I couldn't find it. So I decided to buy this dry one. I actually found parsley today, fresh parsley. So I'll just keep this one just in case I have one of those situations where I can't find fresh parsley around me. This one is for me. I like drinking this vital milk, banana soy milk thing. <laughs> 
I drink it once in a while. I, I like it. I do like it. So I like when it is very, very chilled and I drink it. I just feel, do you think it's healthier than drinking like minerals? I don't know. I like it. Then we have ketchup. This is the ketchup I mostly buy. I also buy the other brand of ketchup, which is, I think, Food Town. So I saw this one today and decided to buy it because we are running out of ketchup. I bought meatballs today, so I decided maybe I'll try this gravy mix with the meatballs. I'm not so sure. Yummy was the one that convinced me to buy it. <laughs> um, but let's see. I might, I might try it. This is one of those things I am buying just to try. And then we have our poi poi sauce. If you don't know, poi poi sauce is um, what they call it, shito sauce. So sometimes my husband likes to put it on like chicken, rice. He just likes to put it on different things, Sha. So this one is for him. This is a pack of yogurt, four packs of yogurt, and it's also for my husband. He likes, <laughs> Yomi likes using it with some random things. Sha. I don't know, but. He's the one that takes yogurt, this, this particular yogurt. We have the yogurt that the kids take. I'll show the, you that one later. I, I'll probably do a video about it, but this is the one Yomi takes and they take the other one. I have about five tins of plum peeled tomatoes in tomato juice. And that's because tomato is really scarce right now. And all the tomatoes I saw, most of them are either unripe and they give your stew this very, very sour taste. So I'd rather not buy it. This one costs 300 naira for one. So I'd rather use this. And I made one very delicious stew that I use this plum tomatoes for. I'll film the recipe soon, but I'd rather buy this so that I can store it than the tomatoes that's not in season and is not ripe. Here I have some chicken wings. I want to try out my air fryer, so I'm going to be using it to make these chicken wings. Hopefully you guys will see a recipe. And then these are the meatballs I bought. So I went to spa, shop right one supermarket around me and some corner stores to buy some of all these things. So this one is from where? ShopRite. This is meatballs that I thought I would use this um, seasoning for. So I'm not sure yet, but uh, let's see how it goes. And then I have like just stewing beef. And here I have chicken breast because I always like to have chicken breast at home. You can use it for so, so many things. My son, sometimes he just wants to eat chicken. Chicken breast cooks in like five minutes so I don't have to stress myself. Now on to this part of our grocery haul. I have some blueberries and it's because I have a recipe this week I'm trying to do. So yeah, if I went over my budget, it's not really because I wanted to go over my budget. It's because of the work that I do. So sometimes I have to eat things that are out of what we will eat um, typically. So I have to go over budget sometimes. So yeah, I bought these blueberries because I want to use it for a recipe. It's going to make the food styling really, really nice, even though it's expensive. I got cherry tomatoes. Um, when I was buying the cherry tomatoes, there were two types there. So one was so expensive and this one was like more affordable than the other one. So I asked the lady, what's the difference? They're both cherry tomatoes. She said one not imported, one not local. I was like, my friend, give me the local one. Is this local cherry tomatoes <laughs> that I want? <laughs> Let me use it. Instead of international imported expensive cherry tomatoes. I have this pack of grapes um, that are seedless grapes safe for the kids anybody can just pop it in their mouth and eat so this these are the fruits for the week that we're going to have we also bought bananas and we've already almost eaten half of it so we bought two bunches of bananas where are they i bought two bunches of bananas one was ripe and this one is like half ripe so we've already eaten the ripe one in the car and then as you can see some of this one <laughs> so this banana is not even lasting long at all um, we got, um, I don't know what I'm going to cook with this, but it was calling my name. Yeah, Missy, come, come. And this one was like 100 Naira. I'm like, yeah, Missy, just buy it. You can use it to try something new, try a new recipe. So this is for recipe trial. 
this one is to try recipe i always like to have these little packs of garnishing this one is like 200 naira, and this is parsley so i was looking for fresh parsley that's why i bought the 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 dry one <laughs> but this is the one i really wanted there was a recipe i was supposed to film and this was the last ingredient i couldn't find so i'm really happy about it i think i bought two packs then i got some coriander these packs are really like affordable 280 naira i bought coriander i got some basil i love my basil i use basil sometimes when i can't find scent leaf and i have this rice recipe on my channel that i use basil for it is so so good so i want to replicate it and then i have this pasta recipe i filmed in one of my i think in the last video where i did what i eat in a day with pasta oh my gosh that recipe was so good and every time it pains me that i didn't film an actual recipe for the channel so this is going to go in a recipe i have plans to film a lot this week so god help me this is chinese cabbage which i think is also called bok choy i've seen it in a lot of recipes and i just feel like i would like to try it i've never seen it in the supermarket before so when i saw it i was really interested and it was not expensive it was like 300 naira so i'm like yeah let's give it a try eat something healthy something new then we have fresh tarragon these are lovely i can use them to roast chicken that's even what i want to use it for to roast chicken you know when you use it and stuff the chicken you can use it to to cook anything really pasta rice chicken fish so yeah i really like it yes this is one of the new things i bought which is sage i always hear about sage when people are trying to is it disinfect their house <laughs> remove bad vibes from their house like a spiritual thing but obviously you can eat it like food so i'm looking forward to trying this sage out i think i'll do a video talking about all the new items i tried and which one i liked what do you guys think should i do a video like that okay then here i have spring onions this one are the imported spring onions <laughs> it was expensive 970 but i bought it because of camera purposes like it's much more bigger and on camera it looks very nice so sometimes i buy stuff just because they look nice and presentable that's that's just my life i also bought this lettuce i intend to use it for a very nice recipe as you guys see we bought a lot of green greenish stuff oh because there's no tomatoes i bought a lot of green bell peppers um i make a lot of ayamashi now so if there's no tomatoes we'll make another kind of stew so i make ayamashi with this big green bell pepper somebody sent me a dm i was like is it this like pepper you use for fried rice you use for ayamashi yes it is the same pepper you use for fried rice you use for ayamashi and this is what i use and please remember to remove the seeds eh? i got one avocado and that's because the thing with avocado you just go and buy plenty now the next thing all of them ripen before you see they are overripe and they don't look good so i just got one i got some lemon i want to use it for a recipe um, it was a pasta recipe and it was the recipe that I wanted to use the parsley for so the only thing that was actually left was the was the parsley but I remembered that this was supposed to be part of it so I bought it we have some oranges I think these are like imported oranges but I really like them even though they're expensive why do I like expensive things we have one kiwi one single kiwi this is supposed to be for garnishing for a recipe i intend to film this week is about filming 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 i just pray i have the energy to do all the things i've said i want to do over here i have corn i already filmed a corn and beans recipe if you've not checked it out please go on my channel and check out the beans and corn recipe so we are going to still use this for beans and corn because we're still eating beans and corn this week i got a pack of bay leaves this is probably going to last me like the whole year because the one i had before just finished like last week and i've had it for a very very long time so this one will last long and then 
we have palm oil palm oil very very important for our ayamashi i've been using a lot of palm oil now because i'm making more ayamashi and i make more palm oil based meals <laughs> so yeah palm oil i think the last thing i have to show you is some plantain unripe plantain i'm going to wait for them to ripen that's why i bought it unripe by tomorrow i will use them for like plantain and pepper soup and then when it gets riper i'll probably leave two and use it for like doodle the next few days so how do you guys think i did and how much do you think i spent on this haul so this is everything i bought today the only thing i wanted to buy that i didn't buy was beans and i couldn't find affordable beans i want beans from the market i want to buy like two basket of beans not supermarket beans because they're really more expensive and i still have some beans at home so i'll manage that beans till you know i can go back and get beans from the market today's video was brought to you by go money like i said earlier in the video there are multiple giveaways attached to this post the first one is the 30k which is 10k for three people that will win just by leaving a comment it doesn't have to be oh so yeah, me, i want to be a winner just leave a comment i will pick randomly also the second type of giveaway and where you can make money from go money is if you refer your friends to download the app and then they download it and then they validate their bvn and everything and they fill in their information and they start using it you get 300 naira while they get 200 naira so for each person you refer you get 300 naira and also you get a referral code what that referral code does is it helps you gather your points if you get up to 100 points the first person to get up to 100 points wins a brand new phone i'm not even playing go money is an online banking service that's been very useful for me i use it to track my spending but i think the thing i love the most about it is that you have a virtual card for shopping so instead of using like your normal bank card and you're scared that somebody is just going to take all your money away scam all your money you have a virtual card that you can just put maybe the money you use for shopping for food or shopping for something else you can put all that money in that virtual card and use it to shop online like it is so convenient it is so easy another feature that i think you guys will like is the splitting of bills feature so let's say all of you share one taxi and one person paid no need to stress yourself by dragging people too much saying come and pay your bill come and pay your bill no there's a way you split it on the go money app everybody will get their alert and they will pay their money also you can use go money to request for money from people please you people should not come and send me dear man request for money from me <laughs> even me i'm requesting for money i need 30 billion in my account <laughs> so you can always share your go money link to request for a particular amount from someone or from people or let's say you're doing business you can use it to request for the amount of something somebody bought from you and it just makes life easy after the first 20 referrals you earn one point per additional referral the first person with 100 points or more will win a 128 gig iphone 11. the first five people with 10 points or more will win 10,000 naira. the first three people with 20 points or more will win 20k and the first three people with 50 points or more will win 50,000 naira. And then the first three people with 80 points or more will win 80,000 naira. Before I went out today, this was the list I did. And you can see my full timetable. I'm just going to, I think I'll put it downloadable in the link below so you guys can download my menu for the week. So there are some things that have changed obviously, but for Monday, it says bread, beans and corn, ebanog bono. For Tuesday, it says pancakes, sweet potato and vegetable sauce. So I have sweet potato at home already and making vegetable sauce, there's enough ingredients for it here. Then on Tuesday evening, I have rice. So it can be jollof, fried, any kind of rice. Then on Wednesday, I have moi moi and oats. I have oats at home and I have some beans for moi moi. And then I have pasta for lunch, plantain pepper soup, like I said. Um, then I just think the only thing I'll need to do is I'll bring this plantain pepper soup, I'll bring it forward. <laughs> 
just in case the the plantain gets ripe on time on thursday i have cereal for breakfast beans and potato pottage it can just be plain potato pottage if there's no beans and then for dinner i have chicken wrap which is shawarma then on friday i don't know what we're going to eat so i just left it as blank <laughs> I'll fill it in and then for lunch I have eba and obono for dinner I have fish and couscous stir fry for Saturday I have akara and oats typically we don't wake up very early on Saturdays so it's going to be like brunch and then for dinner we have pasta for Sunday we have beans yam egg and stew brunch also and then for dinner is rice and vegetable sauce so this was my shopping list I did not follow my shopping list and my budget was 30k but i do believe i have spent over 30k today <laughs> i believe i spent over 30k and that's just because of like food styling but if i wasn't food styling i probably wouldn't spend as much as um 30k but I still have this thing to, to buy. I still have, I wanted to buy smoke banla, I wanted to buy Bomo, and I wanted to buy tilapia. Those ones I will still buy. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you want me to do more like this, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.